Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other, and what are your person's uh, true intentions or next actions going to be. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Feel free to check out the other your other placements. Um, I have all of my playlists linked in the description box. I have a playlist for every sign. Tons of videos there. And yeah, let's just jump right in for Sagittarius spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, clarity, please, for Sagittarius regarding love. This mess, um, I guess, message reading. <laughs> will be for any of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, Sagittarius, and feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. For Sagittarius spirit, what's going on in their connections at this time, Sagittarius? What's going on in their connection? I got two. King of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, so we have um, Air Energy with the King of Swords and Fire Energy, King of Wands. You could be dealing with a Air Sign, Fire Sign, does not have to be. I'm getting that this King of Wands is, uh, I don't want to say upset. I'm not getting upset. I'm getting something like, uh, like no nonsense. I feel like you and your person, one of you wants to possibly talk, communicate, get clarity, and the other one wants to just address something. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And, and address something in the sense of like, Let's get this moving. Let's get the show on the road. Very interesting energy. Usually I don't get that with court cards like this, but let's get let's get into this. Why is this? Why am I getting these messages? Spirit, tell me about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The lovers, Gemini energy. Why is the King of Swords here? Ten of Cups, nice. Why is the King of Swords here? Oh, I've got two. Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands. Interesting, I'm getting like this message of someone who needs to say something, which by the way, that's been a kind of a common theme for Sagittarius. There's fear here, stress with the Nine of Swords, something that keeps someone like in this energy of uncertainty. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Knight of, Nine of Swords here? And it came out with the Knight of Wands. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Five of Cups. So yeah, okay. So someone I feel is um, stressed. Um, there's the Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords about something to do with the past here with the Five of Cups. Maybe there was already an ending between you or something that happened between you. And, and so this person, I feel they want to come forward with the Knight of Wands, King of Swords, especially because there's a strong connection here with the lover. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, it's very interesting because I feel like this is somebody who I'm starting to think that this is one person that has these two energies. It's like they know they need to talk about something or address something, right? But really, it's the movement that's the issue. We'll see. It's the action, I guess I should say. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? For Sagittarius. Queen of Swords. Why is the King of Wands here? Mm 
the star Aquarius energy. Why is the King of Wands here? Strength, Leo energy. Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck with the devil. Capricorn energy here. And the Three of Cups. Queen of Swords came out first, which I find interesting because that's kind of the energy I was getting with this King of Wands. Like someone very no-nonsense, and that is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords sees right through all of the BS that you could even possibly try. They're just steps ahead, leaps ahead of you. Um, <laughs> the Queen of Swords is very perceptive. Um, you have to come to her in correct, basically, because she is going to know. This is very interesting energy. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend like I'm not confused because <laughs> I feel like there's something here with, it's almost like an important conversation, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. There's something that needs to be addressed, discussed in an honest way. But I feel that courage is needed to do this because I have strength. I have the Nine of Swords over there. And I have the Five of Cups, almost as if there's something that someone needs to overcome. Um, and I feel like it's healing the past with the star. I have the Five of Cups here. I have the star. So this is what I'm getting so far. But I feel like there's more to this. There's more to this. You know, and then at the bottom of the deck... I'm looking at the bottom of the deck for, you know, for confirmation or extra clarity and Spirit showing me the Devil card. Spirit showing me the Three of Cups and a Queen of Cups. Which I don't feel this Queen of Cups is this Queen of Swords. I hope I'm wrong about that. That's what I'm seeing so far. Tell me about, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ace of Wands. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Eight of Swords. There's that fear again. And then the Emperor Aries energy. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's something here. I mean, there's something here about clarity, communication, Ace of Swords, Six of Swords. Someone could want to talk about the past. Someone could want to talk about a move that they're making. Um, a transition. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Gemini. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Aquarius. It doesn't really matter the sign, really. It's more about the energy. But, but the Emperor is definitely somebody who they are doers. They get things done. They're decisive. Um, very similar to the King of Wands. And then I have the Eight of Swords that came out there. So the Knight of Wands came out with the Nine of Swords. The Emperor came out with the Eight of Swords. Someone's fear is holding them back. Someone's having their thoughts play games with them or trick them or make them hesitate. Despite the fact that there's an Ace of Wands here, Lovers, Ten of Cups, this is potential for me. You know, when I see these three cards here, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Lovers. This is potential for something very beautiful, fulfilling, abundant, an adventure, a new beginning, something very passionate, right? That's what I'm seeing. But then there's more, you know? <laughs> that's not just, that's not all of it. So I find it very fascinating also that with the Ace of Swords, there's the Six of Swords. Also the Ten of Swords that came out earlier. So something definitely happened between you and this person, Sagittarius. I feel like someone's focused on communication here. And I think this could be you. This could be all of your energy. This could be your person's energy or a mix of both because this is what's going on in your connection. But I feel like at least one of you wants to make a move but isn't. Um, they, they, I feel like they want to regain balance here bring something back to healing, bring something, you know, especially with the strength card in this particular deck, which this is the Tarot of the Little Prince, if you're curious. Um, the uh, strength card looks like someone that is almost like an embrace here, a 
you know, very like sweet, tender energy. And I don't know, I'm just getting this, this feeling that someone wants to just hold the other person and have everything be okay again. So let's, let's dive into your energies, you and this person. Maybe I'll get a little bit more clarity on why all of these other things are happening. You know, why are these other energies showing up? Uh, Sagittarius, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Spirit saying just God's clarity, please. Insight. Okay. Happy ending card showed up. That's like the Ten of Cups. Can I get some insight, please, for Sagittarius? Insight, please, for the um, energies between Sagittarius and their person. They're showing me some strange... It's very specific. I'm seeing like a family room, like a gathering. Um, like um, I feel like outside there's like a campfire or like a barbecue. It's a gathering. Well, I don't know why they're showing me this. Okay, taking action. All right, so tell me, okay, let me ask for the specific energy. Uh, Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius's energy in this connection? Tell me about Sagittarius, Spirit. Sagittarius. Walking away. Okay, tell me about the person. Ooh. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies? The person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Deep regret. Okay, yeah. The Five of Cups. Mirrored souls, the lovers. Yes, okay. Moving forward, bottom of the deck. That's like the Six of Swords that we've already seen. Interesting. Okay, so for you, Sagittarius, you have walking away, parting ways, and new beginnings. So clearly there was a separation or there's a separation here. Um, I feel like you might have been the one that walked away. Perhaps you're walking away from something now in the present because um, I feel like there's a new beginning here or the focus is on a new beginning of some sort for you. It could be with this person. It could be outside of this person. This is just what I'm getting so far. But I think they are also going through some sort of movement or cycle with the moving forward card, except they have deep regrets over this partnership. Regret, remorse, responsibility, a feeling of responsibility here. Okay. Maybe because you walked away or maybe because of other reasons. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. About these two. Tell me about Sagittarius. Peacock. So you have um beautiful inside and out. Attractive inside and out. Do you have a lot to offer here? You might have um, recognized your worth, realized your value, um, gained some confidence recently. Maybe you've been um, doing some outwardly changes. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies? This other person that <laughs> The mouse, okay. Very focused on the details, the mouse. Very anxious type of energy, the mouse. Bottom of the deck, vulture. This is like cleaning up someone's dirty work. Fixing something, cleaning something up with the vulture. That's what your person's focus is. Your, their focus is on addressing whatever they're regretting. Your focus, I feel, could be on something else. Um, I see you focusing on yourself. But I think in the back of your mind is this person. Can I get one more spirit? One more. 
for Sagittarius and their person. Tell me about Sagittarius. I can't deny that you are my soulmate. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me about this other person. I haven't been the same since we met. It's at the bottom. Words can't express how much I care for you. Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Words can't express. This person hasn't told you this is what I'm picking up. I don't think you know this. Um, I feel like this person has not been able to let you go. Maybe the connection was too strong. Maybe the way things ended was just not, didn't sit right with someone. I feel like you realize that this person is your soulmate, but I'm picking up Sagittarius that that doesn't mean that you're going to take whatever treatment comes your way. It's almost like, okay, we have a strong connection. I admit it, but that's not enough to keep me here. Or um, perhaps, you know, you've learned some lessons since you've walked away from this person or since someone walked away from you and it's not you know, you don't deal with love the same way or you don't approach relationships the same way. Like I see you changed. When I put down this peacock, which by the way, you're a peacock, this person's a mouse, like what? Um, but when I put down this peacock card, it's almost like you've blossomed. Maybe this person's noticing. I'm picturing like a glow up here. Tell me more about Sagittarius and their person spirit. Tell me more about Sagittarius and their person. Tell me about Sagittarius. What do we need to know about Sagittarius and the energies they have in this connection? The Emperor. What is going on with my deck? Tell me about Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. The Hierophant. Aries energy, Taurus energy. Ten of Wands. I feel like you held on for a while or you're holding on for a while here. Like I see you dealing with something for a long time with the Ten of Wands. A burden, an obligation, some sort of baggage. There's the lovers again at the bottom of the deck. And the five of wands, conflict, drama, difficulties. I wonder if this, okay, I have, um, hmm. I was gonna say something and I was told no. <laughs> so hang on. <laughs> I was like, maybe it, no, it's like, no, that's not it. There's something with this higher font, but it's not what I thought it was. So I am going to clarify. Um, I feel like Sagittarius, you dropped the rope. You dropped the rope in this connection in the sense of um, maybe you were pulling in all the weight. Maybe we were doing all the work. Maybe you were the one totally invested when someone else wasn't and you dropped that rope. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Judgment and the Devil. Yeah, there was something here I feel you made a judgment call about whatever restriction, toxicity, unhealthy attachment you had with this person or outside of this person does not matter. Um, I feel like if you haven't done this, this is the path you're on. Uh, the devil, Capricorn en energy, and then judgment. Um, I feel like you had some sort of realization about this. And yeah, there's the nine of wands. And this happened after some time. Um, maybe the difficulty got too much. Maybe you just... This was too much for you. Um, you tried everything you could try and 
I feel like you you cut this out or this is eventually what you're going to do. This Ten of Wands is no longer your responsibility or your concern. Tell me about the Emperor. And the Emperor, again, is very similar to this Peacock energy. This is you uh, taking charge of the situation, taking charge of your life. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? The chariot, yeah, moving forward, cancer energy. Moving forward towards success. You're taking your control back, basically, is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more. Eight of Wands, yeah, you're moving quickly. This is a move that you've been maybe thinking of for a while. Maybe you've been thinking about giving all of this up for a while. Maybe you've realized it's not worth it or you're done waiting or something like that despite the fact that this is a strong connection tell me about the higher font if you're not the one that is cutting something out maybe you know that your person's cutting something out but i feel for a lot of you this is you this is uh the energy that is is this very like no nonsense energy once again tell me about the higher font decisive energy now what what's up with this higher font because i stand corrected tell me about the higher font why is the higher font here spirit show me show me about the higher font hmm Ace of Wands and the world. So, new beginnings, to something completely new. Cycles ending, cycles beginning. Can I get one more for the higher font? Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck, six of wands, success, and then the sun, the tower, Sagittarius and tower. What's going on with the tower, Sagittarius? It keeps coming up for you. Interesting. So, okay, I'm getting a few messages here. Um, the higher font, typically we think of that card as um, a card of commitment, contracts, tradition, conformity, doing things. A certain way um, Taurus energy here what I'm getting here and this is why I first I was like well maybe this person is in a commitment maybe they are married and maybe that's the case for some of you maybe you are dealing with someone that's already in a long-term commitment but I don't think that's why this higher fine is here with these two cards I think that you are no longer going to do things the same way. Maybe in the past you were more of a people pleaser. Maybe in the past you were more willing to go along with the flow, to, to please others, make others happy, put others above yourself. Maybe in the past you wanted things to happen a certain way, but perhaps that just didn't happen the way that you thought it was. Maybe it wasn't all that. Maybe in the end you weren't happy with it. So I feel like you're trying a new approach. Like you are ready to start your life is kind of what I'm getting. Like you're, and, and, and it's almost like you either can get on or hop off. <laughs> That's kind of the energy here because I feel like you're done with being disappointed and heartbroken. Tell me if this is resonating for you, Sagittarius, because I feel like this might be a very specific reading. I don't think it's going to resonate for all of you. But if it does resonate, then let me know. So what about your person? me about this other person what about their energies can you tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with what are their energies there's that ace of swords again six of cups okay ace of swords six of cups can I get one more for this person death Scorpio energy yeah I feel like this person wants to talk about a past situation the past 
Um, I'm also getting like they're going through some sort of change um, with death, Scorpio energy there. This person wants to talk, wants to clear the air. I feel like that's their energy. And that's that brings me back to the original two cards I put down when I looked at what's going on in your connection. They're the king of swords. You're the king of wands. You know? You're not on the same page exactly. You, it's almost like you both have different goals. Seven of pentacles. Okay, tell me about the ace of swords. I'm, I'm just going to put that one down there because I feel like came out for a reason that's that kind of like doubting that I'm getting from your person the hesitation why is the ace of swords here five of wands yeah it's like they want to talk about the problems um, maybe any interferences or drama that they were dealing with uh, maybe they want to apologize page of cups here express how they feel because I don't think they have there's the ace of pentacles four of swords yeah and the high priestess so this person hasn't told you this i feel like they've kept this to themselves um i'm not sure why i don't know what's going on with my viewers that nobody talks to each other uh, i think it would fix so many problems tell me about the six of cups king of cups yeah i feel like despite everything that's happened there's love here on your you know they have emotions here that I feel they need to express. Tell me about death. Four of Pentacles. I feel like they've held back because of what happened. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Three of Pentacles. They could have been through something, something with finances here for this person, especially when I have the Four of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. I instantly think about money, finances, those two cards together. If the Four of Pentacles was by itself, I would think that this is someone holding on to something, holding back despite whatever. But I feel like with the Three of Pentacles here too, it's, it's almost like employment or um, working on something, but I feel like this is more finances. Tell me more about death. Like maybe they were in a dealing with something with money and it could have been outside of you here. Tell me about death. Yeah, five of pentacles. This is about money. Something to do with either a loss of money, a loss of status, loss of a job, or like their money is not the same kind of thing. Maybe this person really cared about money, appearances. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Six of Wands. This person's hoping for success. I heard chance. Hoping for a chance. Three of Pentacles. The Magician. Yeah, they want to make this happen. So what's the problem? You know what I think? I think the problem is you, Sagittarius. But I don't mean that in a bad way. I think the I think the game has changed. That's what I heard. The game has changed. <laughs> it's not the same. They can't approach you in the same way. They can't deal with you in the same way because now there's past. The past is now between you. Um, how do I say this in a way that makes sense? <laughs> It's, it's circumstances have changed. And so now the approach needs to change as well. This is someone that has a lot of feelings for you. I feel like you've rattled them and I think they're in their head about you. But I don't, I don't see them doing anything here. I mean, I have the Magician and the Ace of Swords. So it's like they're trying to make something happen here, especially when I see the Three of Pentacles. It's like they're working on something. What are this person's true intentions or next actions towards Sagittarius? What are their true intentions, next actions, spirit, towards Sagittarius? Nine of Pentacles. True intentions, next actions. Knight of Swords, yeah. They want to come in and talk. They're going to try to text you or something. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This person's going to message you, um, and there's the Queen of Cups. 
and they're going to tell you something it's going to be like an emotional message of some sort like a truth like something like the truth comes out about someone's feelings here there's the eight of pentacles i feel like they're working up the courage here the sun ten of pentacles i mean they they're thinking long term or they're thinking of long-term success um i feel like i'm still missing something with this person because i feel like it shouldn't just be money that holds someone back but i feel like it it is in a way like i feel like that's that and the fear that and it's it's funny because the fear that showed up in the previous spread the the eight of swords that showed up there's no fear here in this spread right now the magician is not fearful the magician is a uh thinker a doer they they figure things out they use whatever resources at their disposal and i feel like this person i don't know they have something to say but at the same time i'm just pick, picking up that i don't think they realize that you've changed thank you so much for watching sagittarius i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope that um it resonated for you if it did leave me a comment let me know like the reading or like the video subscribe if you want to see more readings from me and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care